Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. Today we will be looking at how can we create custom Bitmoji banners for our announcements in our Teams classes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So once your banner is done, it's going to look something like this. You can have this custom uh, colorful banners for your classes. So this is one banner that I created and I'm going to scroll up and this is another one that I created. So let's go ahead and create the second one now. So here I am in my blank PowerPoint presentation and as you can see, I do have design ideas coming up right next to me, but that's not what I'm looking at. I'm going to go ahead and click on design and I'm going to click on the slide size and I'm going to click on custom slide size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click and look for something that says banner. And I'm then gonna click okay. I do not wanna maximize it, I wanna make sure it fits perfectly, so I'm gonna ensure fit. And there I have my banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete these, I don't want any titles. And what you can do is either you can pick from these designs for your banner or you can customize the one that you want. But today I am in a mood for picking this one. I think I like this one. This one? No, I like this color. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this color. But if you want to go ahead and format your background, you can always go ahead and click format, choose the gradient, choose the solid color, choose picture, picture or texture or simply go back and reset your background. I'm gonna keep this for now. So once I have this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my Bitmojis to make it much more fun. So I'm gonna click on my Chrome, where is, I'm gonna go ahead and open a Chrome page and here are my Bitmojis. I'm gonna go ahead and say math. And I have various math, where is it? Okay, I like, yeah, I like this one. I'm simply going to go ahead and copy it and I will paste it. I'm going to go ahead and pick a couple more. Let's see, that looks good. Paste it, perfect. One more, perfect. There you go, I like dabbing. Let's see, I think one more. Okay, math. And which one should I pick? Yep, that looks good. It has the formulas in there too. So simply right click and paste it and let's see one last picture with books yep i like that one copy paste move it all the way to the end and let me coffee yes i'm gonna go ahead and pick coffee and yep that looks good so you get the idea i'm just trying to show you how we can play around and create it and make it much more fun for our students and i'm gonna edit it i think i like it and this looks perfect. Once I do that, I'm gonna go to insert and I'm going to click on icons and I'm gonna type in blackboard or just board. I can see it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick mm, this one and I'm gonna click insert. I'm gonna go ahead and simply format it, make it a little bit bigger, pull it all the way down. This is perfect. And now move the math inside because that's the highlights of the class. And then let me go ahead and insert a couple of graphs because I'm a math teacher. I'm going to go ahead and pick a pie chart for today. Okay, the color looks too dark. I'm going to go ahead and format it, fill it up with a light blue. That looks good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick one more graph. Going to icons type in graph and let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and pick a bar graph, insert. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and format it, change the color to, yeah, yellow looks good. And then this looks perfect. And now I'm gonna go ahead and simply insert a text box and type in welcome right here. I don't think I like the font. I'm simply gonna go ahead and change it to the one that looks like a handwritten note, yep. I like this one. I'm going to move it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and I'm going to move it all the way. Let's see to this end. That's perfect. And once this is done, I'm just simply going to move things around and make sure everything is perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in a picture of graduation just to give them, you know, something to look forward to. 
Again, I like to change the color so they can look nice and bright. There you go. The graduation is here. So you get the idea of how you can add more pictures and icons using insert and icon button. I'm going to go ahead and add one quick sticker. I like this B here. And if you have any questions on how to add stickers or cutouts of different things in PowerPoint, you can always go ahead and look for the video in my channel, which tells you in detail how to add different icons and stickers. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put a cutout of this guy right here. You don't have to, but if you're teaching higher ed, you can always go ahead and do that. It's a nice touch if you don't want to put bitmojis. I'm going to go ahead and delete that for now. But once this is done, you will go to your file and you will save this as, let me see, I'm going to save it on my desktop and you will save this as a PNG file. And I'm going to name it as a banner and I'm going to click save just this one and it's being saved what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my teams class and I'm going to go ahead and create an announcement and I'm going to let's say it's not a conversation it's an announcement and I want to go ahead and select my own background so I'm going to upload my image and it's going to ask me to go ahead upload it I'm going to click on upload and I'm looking at my desktop scroll all the way down and my banner is right here and once it's open this is how you want it move it back and forth I think that looks good and it's done and there you have my banner and whatever you want to type in you can go ahead and do that there you go, you have your banner, type your announcement. I'm just gonna say, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. So there you go, how to create custom banners for your Teams class or your custom banners for your announcements. I hope you like this video. If you do, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. And happy teaching.